Hey guys, Golden Guy here, and welcome to Beast Mega Crab stages 21 through 30. Please subscribe. I'm going through every single stage and posting my strategies. So stay tuned. Stage 21. We've got some shield generators on the left hand side, as well as this Doom Cannon over here. I'm going to go ahead and just take it out now. As well as this boom cannon right here. Ugh, this is just ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. And look at that shock right there. They they put that boom cannon and shock launcher right there to try and bait you into throwing that shock like I did. I didn't shock either of them. I'm going to go ahead and just take out this shock launcher here. And this isn't good. I've got a split army. That's something that I preach never to do. Especially with tanks, we need them all concentrated on one to two targets. Stage 21 is down. Jumping to stage 22. Definitely need to take out these shields. Shield generators on the right hand side. But this is like... This is going to be pretty tough. Towards the end, look at all these boom surprises. That is not good at all. I'm basically just going to keep these shocks as long as possible. I'm going to throw some barrages into this shock launcher to take that out. So now that we actually shock, we can actually do some damage. And bolts down. And there's a ton of cannons right here. This isn't looking good at all. I'm going to need to make an executive decision. I'm flaring up top and smoking around these cannons. This could come back to bite me, but I've got just enough gumbo to do it. Come on, medics, don't do this to me. Come on, keep walking, keep walking. That is not good. We're going to have a lot of rocket launchers targeting our troops and not too many medics to heal them up. Let's play with this boom cannon here. And we're looking pretty good. We'll throw some med kits down. Stage 21, excuse me, stage 22 is down. Definitely going to need to take out these cry bombs here. And we'll throw a bullet on the far left. Let him take the damage on that boom cannon. And let's take out these shield generators. I am going to shock this boom cannon here. And again, shock these cannons here. I'm going to let him take out a couple and then flare. Right now that boom cannon would still be targeting my troops, so it was vital that we took that out first. And now we've just got bullet up front, drinking some drink, and we're going to keep this doom cannon and shock launcher shocked. Well, we've got a hunter gunboat now, let's just put some barrages in the core, stage 23 is down. Just got that Simo up top to deal with. We'll throw some critters, put some artillery in these cryo bombs, and deploy our troops on the left hand side. We 
we got Bullet in a great position. We're definitely going to need him to take all this damage from all these boom cannons. I'm going to pop that cry bomb now. And we're going to wait that Simo will probably be targeting my medics about now. So we're going to shock it. Flare over, shock one more time. And I've got a bunch of gunboat. Let's take up this shock launcher here and keep shocking the other. As well as take up that boom cannon. Stage 24 is down. This is a tough one here. Got the shield generators on the right hand side, but there's a bunch of stuff in the way of that. My idea here was to take out the shock blaster and this machine gun. So then I can throw critters. And the critters will take out those shield generators. Huge flaw to my plan, guys. Those rocket launchers are going to target my my critters there. I don't know what I was thinking. And now I've wasted so much gunboat that I could be using right now. It's horrific. Definitely in a tough spot right here. These two shock launchers are letting us have it. I'm going to flare to this shock launcher on the left side. And with 14 gunboat left. There's really not much I'm going to do. Stage 25 is going to be my first defeat. Not wasting any time jumping right back into stage 25. This has got to go. We're going to take out the shock launcher here. We'll just stick to the left. Shock these boom cannons here. And we've taken out some important defenses. Now let's flare to the left corner. Definitely going to need to shock that shock launcher and collect all this GVE from those tubes. And now we're just going to flare individually to each of these defenses that are going to cause us harm. Specifically the boom cannons first, and now the shock launcher. We've got exactly two minutes left on this attack. I am not worried about the shield at all at this low of a stage. Especially with all that troop damage we've got. Shields down after 45 seconds, and it's quickly going to follow with the core. Stage 25 is down. Stage 26. I really like their new setup on this layout of attacks. Instead of the shield generators lining all up and down the left hand side. Now we've got critters. Very massive critter army to help take out all those shield generators. I love it. I'm gonna throw some critters down to take out these shock mines. And look at those critters go. I'm going to actually shock these mortars to save critters' lives. Hundred and fifty gumbo. Throw a bunch of it into the core. And stage twenty-six is down.
yet again. I'm going to go for that troop damage plus 13. Did not get it. Stage 27. I'm going to go and individually pop each one of these crowd bombs. Deploy my troops in the front middle. There's definitely some trouble lurking ahead past these shield generators for my tanks. There's no way that bullet's going to be able to take the damage from all these tanks, so I'm actually going to let him stay on the left-hand side. I know he'll tar the boom cannons in the middle and the left are going to target him, and I'm just going to use critters and gunboat to protect my tanks on the right-hand side. costing a lot to heal up bullet right now wasn't worth it to do it again let's flare left and really make sure that we get this base out this is not this is not the best of situations here I've not got the most gunboat in the world but we definitely have to take out that shock launcher Gonna float of this boom cannon. And we're not gonna win this attack. We'll float of this next boom cannon. Stage 27. First try. Defeat. And we're gonna watch these four medics safely run back to the boat. This is a piece of cake. I'm going to finish off that boom cannon that we targeted there at the end of the last attack. Now we'll flare right and just keep these shocked. We'll shock one more time. Flare to this boom cannon. And stage 27 is down. Stage 28, we've got a bunch of rocket launchers up front. It's always a good idea to delay the deployment of your medics when you've got that many rocket launchers uh, shooting at you. If all of them shot at your medics, they would instantly melt, and the attack goes a lot less further than you would want. There's a bunch of boom cannons up top. We definitely are gonna need to throw some critters down to distract those. And don't forget about these cryo bombs up ahead. Pop those maybe a tad early, but I'm not worried. We got a 150 gunboat. We'll shock this shock launcher and continue moving and I'm actually going to flare right so we can focus my tanks to take out these two boom cannons up top got 120 gumbo I'm going to have this shock ready and we'll shock the boom cannon as it targets my tanks and we're not even going to need a shotgun again. Let's put a bunch of gunboat into the core. And stage 28 is down. Stage 29 is definitely a doozy. Got a bunch of shock launchers to deal with.
and obviously a bunch of cannons and boom cannons too. Go ahead and pop those cryo bombs and just have bullet ride this wave. It's doing a great job so far. Let's go ahead and give him some health. I'm gonna shock this shock launcher and boom cannon on the right side. And once that boom cannon is down, we're gonna flare left. We'll take out that shock launcher there. And now I'm gonna flare back down to take out these shield generators here. Unfortunately, that boom cannon is not targeting bullet, even though he was practically up front, so I did have to use a shock on it. Not too bad, though. We're running out of time very fast. There's only a minute, 10 seconds left. Let's shock these boom cannons. Bullets still got a little bit of health, but there's no way I'm going to be able to heal them up after this. 40 seconds left. Let's take out the shock mines. I'm going to target this boom cannon, and with 30 seconds left, we've got to flare the core. It doesn't matter about these cannons. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bam. 10 seconds to spare. Stage 29 is down. That's huge to remember, guys. Right there, we flare, we flared to the core at just a chance at winning, and we got the win. Wow, stage 30 looks tough. It's uh, it's another one of those traps. They want you to flare to that to that corner right behind those shield generators. You're gonna go ahead and. Take out these cryo bombs, of course, and deploy a bullet in the front center. And let's take out all these first layer of defenses. Where we have had to use some energy drink and stuff, we do really um, well. We're just about the same gunboat, but. Let's flare right now. This will be a lot easier for us to flare. Alright, I'm really scared about the fact that I've left that little bit of corner open. That's not good. And there wasn't a, enough space in the corner. A bunch of our tanks have moved out. So let's now that a couple of the shield generators are gone, we're going to re-flare back to the corner to keep them... So there's a little more space for him to sit in that corner. I had to shock that shock launcher down there. But let's flare away from it. Went ahead and used another energy drink. And stage 30 is down. That was a real tough base to take out in one try. But thanks for watching, guys. That was me taking out stages 21 through 30. Please like and subscribe for more Boom Beach videos. And stay tuned for the next stages.